Hello guys and girls, James from App Spy here. This is going to be our look at FIFA 16. Is it any good? I couldn't honestly tell you with any serious authority, but I've got Mr. Glenn Fox here with me. Hello. He is an actual FIFA player. You know about all the football, don't you? I do a little bit, yeah. Sweet. Well, we're going to be drawing on your review, which you've written for Pocket Gamer, which you can go and read right now if you want to. Uh, having had a look at it, You've got slightly mixed feelings towards it, haven't you? Yeah, that pretty much sums it up. I mean, it's like a, it's a massive improvement um, mechanically from from 2015's version. Okay. Um, but there's like a real lack of game modes and options in there. Like, so if you really like Ultimate Team, you're going to absolutely love FIFA 16, basically. But mm. if you like any of the other modes at all, you're just <laughs> yeah, there's nothing there for you. The mechanics themselves have been tweaked. I did play it prior to its release, and uh, it's kind of a, a fusion of the old and the new controls, isn't it? You've got the touchy bits and the actual on-screen buttony bits, right? Yeah, that's right. Yeah, back in 2014, they introduced uh, like an entirely touchscreen controls for FIFA, and they worked. Mm. They worked amazing, but they had a few issues. Um, and then 2015, they brought it back to virtual controls, but they've kind of they've mixed them both into into one just control screen in the new version, and it, it works so much better than the other one because you can at any point take control of the person you're playing but if you let go of the screen at any point you just sit back and you can watch it all everything just plays automatically it almost feels a little bit like football managery in that regard doesn't it you can sit back and just like point at the players you want to shoot to and it takes care of it yeah exactly and you can sort of swipe to make people move like in a direction you want them to you can pass you can tap anywhere to pass a three ball like instantly it's like a perfect manager mode but for someone who wants a little bit more hands-on with the actual um, gameplay as well now, what about the Ultimate Team thing? What we've found out is there's no real career mode or anything like that. It's just the Ultimate Team setting, right? Yeah, that's right. I mean, so basically, if you want to play it as Manchester United and take them through a career, you can't do that. You can't even do a quick match. Last year, they did a match of the day, which basically mm -hmm. let you play any of the upcoming um, games for the weekend or, you know, the midweek games and just sort of simulate and see how your team was playing based on form and stuff like that. Um, right. but that's entirely gone now. Like You can't play Seasons, which was another popular game mode where you um, took your club online, played against other players. All of that's gone. So is it completely random, these player packs? you have to Do you purchase them individually or do you earn them through play? Is that the idea? Uh, you can earn them through play. Um, it's just very difficult. But you get coins for each match you play. You get coins if you complete tournaments. Like You get coins for everything. But that's, right. just, that's just the soft currency. So the rate which you earn coins is very low. If you want to buy players with them, you're going to have to play about 10 tournaments to earn one player pack which is okay. quite, a, quite a considerable amount of time. And then you can pay real life money to just buy outright buy a player pack. I'm not actually 100% sure exactly how much they cost, but it's probably just standard uh, 2 dollars price from most in-app purchases. Uh, so like I said, if you really do want to progress quickly, you're going to have to fork out a lot of money or a lot of your time. And how is the feel? Because uh, not being a huge football fan, like I'm sure the idea is you want to play as the team, which is your team. If you're a man you support or an Arsenal or whatever, then you want to play as your team. The, this mode doesn't let you do that. So what you're essentially doing is cobbling together a team made of completely like disparate members from different teams and international squads and all that. Does that create this weird amalgam, almost like fantasy football team, right? Yeah, that's exactly how it is. It's, it is a fantasy football team, but the, the, the main issue I have with Ultimate Team is it sort of takes that control away from you. You can't just go, okay, I want Messi up front, I want Ronaldo up front, at least at first. Like, mm. you've, got to, you've got to earn those players, and they can be incredibly expensive, so you get given random players, you can buy players outright but they're a lot more expensive the best way to do it is to buy player packs which are like pokemon card packs you open them you get a few players you don't know who they're going to be and then if you like them you can keep them for your squad or then you can sell them back to other players or to the game for coins and hopefully right. use those coins to buy a player you actually want and it just it's so time consuming it's like an mmo you really have to get involved in it and and work really hard to, to make any real progress. Is there any kind of multiplayer aspect at all? Is, is it just leaderboards or can you actually play with other players? Uh, yeah, there is there is online multiplayer. Um, I just I couldn't get into it and I've noticed a few other people have had this problem as well. Like EA servers seem to have been down the entire time it's been out. Um, right. So me and, and the guy in the office, uh, Tom, has have both tried like to have a multiplayer match this afternoon and it just has not worked. Like we cannot connect to the servers. Ah. So there are a lot of multiplayer modes. You can play entire seasons online, you can play tournaments online, or just a quick match online. Mm -hmm. It's all there, it, we just can't access it. Speaking as a FIFA fan of both the console and like the mobile series, do you reckon you're going to continue playing it, or do you find it too irritating to have to slog through these sort of randomish matches just to get the players you want? 
Um, it's, it's not really for me, to be honest. I've never really been a massive fan of Ultimate Team. It's, I've mm -hmm. always found it a bit too frustrating just trying to build a team, especially when I just want to play as Newcastle United, and I haven't really given an option <laughs> to do that. So uh, Okay, well, that's the official verdict then. Uh, we'll continue to follow up if there are any more updates. But in the meantime, thanks for joining me, Glenn. Thank you, James. And thanks, everybody, for watching today. Take it easy. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.